Hello, Internet viewers. Uh, I'm Nora from Season 9 of Face Off. One of the first things that you should learn uh, as a makeup artist, and one of the first things I learned in school was to do bruises, scratches, like little trauma out of kit makeups. So today I'm going to just do a quick demo on kind of an aged um, bruise or black eye. Um, really simple, subtle stuff, but it's like super important. And most of the time when you're working on film or television, you're gonna have to do this kind of stuff, really naturalistic uh, makeups. So these bruise wheels, this is an essential part of any makeup artist's kit. They have all different types, you know, they have monster ones, corpse ones, but it'll have different colors on them. So the two that I'm gonna use today, one is specifically for black eyes, and then we've got another one that is just a bruise wheel. So the first thing you need to do is you're gonna take one of these latex or latex-free sponges. Uh, if your model has an allergy to latex, obviously you wanna use a latex-free sponge. You never want to use the flat side of a sponge. You always want to tear it up a little bit. So that's going to give different levels to your bruising and it's going to help you break it up. So I'm not going to do like a fresh black eye. I'm going to do like kind of an aged black eye. So in that sense, I'd want to use a lot of uh, light reds and yellows. Again, we're going super subtle and realistic with this. So you don't need a bunch of makeup on your sponge. You need very little actually. So it's really important to never like smear the makeup for a bruise. You want to just use like light little taps to kind of break it up. Another great tool you can use is just a basic cotton swab. Initially, it helps to actually use one of these to get some more solid color down. And then you can go in with the sponge again to do more breakup on top of it. If you notice when you get a bruise, it starts off really intense with reds. And then it'll go into deeper colors like browns, yellows, and greens. So I'm going to keep that in mind. You don't need to go heavy for a bruise. Like a lot of the times you really want to go sparingly with it to make it look more natural. So we've got some red breakup. We've also got some yellow in there to indicate that the bruise is on its way out the door and it's almost gone. The last step pretty much on any makeup is to, you don't want to ever really leave it matte looking. You always want to incorporate some kind of shine. There's a lot of oils that naturally collect around the eye area. Um, also around the nose. So you can achieve uh, the wet look with a number of products. This stuff is really cool. This is a transparent jelly by Krylon, and it's called Sweat Effect. It's really good if you're gonna do beads of sweat on somebody, it's gonna stay wet as long as you have it on. Another great product is this uh, sunburn simulation. This goes on really shiny, but then it dries. It also dries shiny, um, but you can use it to do like some peel away kind of effects. And you don't always have to use a tool. My finger is my best tool that I have, so I'm just gonna pat a tiny bit of this on. All right, and that pretty much wraps up how to do a aged black eye makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you next time.